And now your host, real estate broker, consultant, and best-selling author, Todd Tremonti. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the show, party people. We got all sorts of stuff happening in DFW summer real estate market. What's going on with buying? What's going on with selling? What's going on with property values? We got a market report for you today, state of the market, as well as an answer to a question that a lot of people are asking in their heads and others are asking out loud, which is, is it too late? Is it too late to get something done this summer? We'll get that and many other things covered today on the show, but we want to answer your questions. So call or text your questions to 214-310-0008. 214-310-0008. If you're not able to be with us live, you got to check the podcast out, DFW Real Estate Weekly on all your podcast spots. Um, someone sent me a link that they were watching or listening on Amazon Music this week. Courtney, wow. How about that? Full price, Courtney. Um, Apple, all the other places. Spotify, uh, DFW Real Estate Weekly. If you really can't find it for some crazy reason, search my name, Todd Tremonti, DFW Real Estate Weekly with Todd Tremonti. Um, if you miss anything, you can check it out on the podcast, on the YouTube channel. Just go to ToddTremontiTeam.com or like my son says, ToddTremontiTeam.com. I was having dinner last night with a buddy and my son was there and my buddy was like, hey, man, how's what's it like being radio famous? And my son was just like, what are you talking about? And he goes, TotramoneyTeam.com. And just started dying laughing. Welcome to the show, folks. We're here for you. We're here to advocate for you, to, to help you understand what is actually happening, what's real and true on the ground in DFW real estate. Not just for buying, not just for selling, not just for investing, but owning, renting, enjoying, building a life around your home your real estate, residential, in Dallas, Fort Worth, and surrounding areas. So send us your questions, 214-310-0008. We'll make our way through the show today answering your questions and others that we've been dealing with clients at the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team all day, every day, all year long, helping them buy and sell hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of homes. One of those that we'll get to a little bit later is, is it too late? But before that, This first segment is, as always, brought to you by Patrick Gleros and his team at Cardinal Financial. If you're looking to get a mortgage, you're looking to buy a house, to refinance, maybe you're looking to try and get a a rental property, a second home, reach out to Patrick and his team, patrickgleros.com, G-L-A-R-O-S, patrickgleros.com, 972-728-3420, NMLS number 308804. You know, happy you know, July, yeah. Todd. Happy July, Ian. Uh, we're wrapping up the peanut butter and jelly drive, but I'm going to give people one more day. You know, because I know that everyone listening in their mind wants to feed hungry kids in DFW, and they feel the same way I do, that it's completely ridiculous and shameful that there are children in our community that don't know where their next meal is when one or two or five or ten dollars could provide them through the food banks with meals for a week. So I know there's some people that are just like me. They're busy. They're preoccupied. They're distracted with lots of good things. But this is your last chance. Today is the last day. We are going to deliver the food this coming week to the North Texas and Tarrant area food banks. And uh, we want to give you a chance and certainly ask you to participate. So you can contribute peanut butter and jelly at our Richardson office or our Fort Worth office. Go to pbjdrive.com and you can get all the information about that. Or simplest possible thing is right now, you can open Venmo on your phone and send 20 bucks, 50 bucks, 100 bucks or more if you can to at pbjdrive on Venmo, at pbjdrive. Now, I know you get asked for money from a lot of people. I know you get hit up for every weird promotion and fundraiser. Here's what I need you to know. 100% of every single dollar that gets sent through that Venmo account is going straight to buy peanut butter and jelly to then be delivered to the local food banks. There's no administrative cost. There's no cost. I cover the cost. The Todd Money Home Selling Team covers all the cost and the staff time and the promotion and the marketing and airtime of all this stuff. We simply want to feed North Texas kids. So if you got $20, we're going to get $20 of peanut butter and jelly and deliver it or have it picked up. Uh, to North Texas Food Bank and Tarrant Area Food Bank. This is the most efficient way 
uh, that we can partner together to feed kiddos in our community. So we do the month of June. It's early, early July. We haven't delivered it all or had it picked up yet. So this is your last chance. Venmo to at PBJ Drive or go to pbjdrive.com and drop off a donation. Technically, we were only doing this through June. So right. I do declare today as June 31st. Mm -hmm. I like where your head is. For the sake of the peanut butter and jelly drive, this is a <laughs> bonus day in the month of June yep. where we can provide the opportunity. And really, that's what it is. It really is an opportunity for you to stop in the middle of your summer and go, let me serve somebody else. 20 bucks, 50 bucks. If you've got it, send $500. All 500 bucks will buy peanut butter and jelly and go to kids and families and others who literally just need food. pbjdrive.com or Venmo at PBJ Drive. Lots going on. You know something we haven't done in a while is a little bit of a, a round of introductions. We got a full studio today. We've got full price Courtney in the producer's chair. All things audio, video, digital, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, She's even ticking and talking these days, y'all. And uh, if you catch a podcast episode or a video clip and it's helpful to you, yes, a lot of times I'm in front of the camera, but behind the camera and the keyboard and all the editing is the one and only Full Price Courtney. Welcome, Full Price Courtney. How Thank are you? you. Thank you, Todd. If you like it, it's me. If you don't like it, it's Todd. It's Todd. It's entirely me. And you can email any complaints <laughs> to my personal email. That's I A N at ToddTremonti.com, I-A-N, at ToddTremonti.com. Anything that is upsetting or factually inaccurate or in any way not pleasing to you. That's our complaints department. Also in the studio, go really well, the that. English wonder himself, the Yanni Donny, the man, the myth, the legend, playing hurt again, showing up, snow, rain, sleet, or hail, Ian Daniels. I'm so over this. I know you are. But I'm just trying to champion your cause we talk a lot of smack in our office, and I've moved on past talking smack about Ian Stem. At this point, it's full support mode. He if did, anyone's ever wondered what having thumb ligament damage is like, let's it's not talk not about fun. it. It's horrible. Let's not talk about it. Let me give you 10 seconds to make a random sports reference, and then we'll move on. Aaron Judge has a torn big toe ligament. No, he went he right back out, to ligaments. You see what he did season. there? It's unbelievable. See what he did there? What's the reticular activator? Uh, once you're aware of something, then you become acutely yeah. aware of it in all environments. That yeah. part of your brain that does that. Is called I will say I did, I did laugh at you earlier this week because you were saying something and I said you sounded really old. When you say Courtney is ticking and talking, yeah, yeah, it's very a, old. I'm, you as, sound very old. I learned in youth ministry a long time ago that it's better to deliberately sound older than you are than to ever try to sound younger than you are. So I am... My social media knowledge is significantly greater than someone that would say ticking and talking, but it's not enough to act like I'm a TikTok hero at all. I've never once logged into TikTok. I do have a TikTok account, but let's be honest. Courtney runs it. And again, if it's great, thank you, Courtney. And if it's, it's bad, great. that's on me. All right. Uh, thanks for being here. We have a full studio all here to help you with your real estate wants and needs in the DFW area. If you're thinking about buying and selling a home, obviously we would love to earn your trust. If you're a fit for us and we're a fit for you, we'd love to help you buy or sell real estate in the Dallas Fort Worth area. We're still guaranteeing to sell your home over the average price and under the average time. Also guaranteeing you throughout the buying process that will save you at least $5,000. That might be purchase price. That might be cost of repairs. That might be other negotiations for fees and timelines and prorations and all those things. But we are going to deliver to you a significantly better than average experience. And when I say significantly, typically it's like astronomically better than what you would get with a typical agent on a typical house in a typical street here in Dallas, Fort Worth. Let's have a conversation as early as possible. If you're thinking about buying, selling, or investing, don't wait. Most people wait too late, and there is no such thing as getting started too early. There's no pressure. There's no obligation. But beginning that conversation a year ahead of time is not too soon. The more time we spend planning, getting a strategy in place, the better and more stress-free and enjoyable your outcome is. So go to ToddTremontiTeam.com or call or text 214-310-0008. If you're thinking about buying, selling, or investing in real estate, 
With stock market returns, what they are and aren't lately, a lot of people are looking for returns in real estate. They do exist. Give us a call, 214-310-0008. You should have that phone number saved in your cell phone under Todd Tremonti or Todd Broker or Realtor, whatever you want. But 214-310-0008 or online, like my son says. Touchmoneyteam.com. If you have not shopped your home insurance and your auto insurance recently, you should do so with DP, DP Lambert at Goosehead Insurance. Uh, he has saved me thousands of dollars over the years. He saved Todd thousands of dollars. He saved so many of our saved my sister money. and brother in law fifteen hundred bucks this year last in like two weeks ago. Week. Yep. Yeah. Reach out to DP, dp.lambert, L-A-M-B-E-R-T, at goosehead.com, dp.lambert at goosehead.com. You can give them a call, 214-838-5684. You can go to touchmoneyteam.com. You can click the radio tab, and you can find all of the recommended pros and vendors right there. Give us a uh, give us a, a market update. Where are we at? What, what are we seeing over the past few weeks? We haven't done one of these in a few weeks. Um, let's break it down for both sellers and buyers. Breaking news, Dallas-Fort Worth real estate is still a seller's market. Okay. Back to you in the studio, Ian. Um, here's the thing. Statistically speaking, the market is obviously a seller's market for almost all price points in almost all areas. Now, almost is a critical word there. Um, the luxury market, which, by the way, almost nobody who operates in the luxury market refers to it as such, but many others do. But the uh, the one million and up market is acting differently in a lot of areas, uh, more aggressively than than many others. But the prime areas that we look at is about three hundred to about eight hundred, uh, and really more of it is the four hundred to eight hundred area, and that's where um, you know the bulk of the market activity is in DFW right now. But in that three hundred to four hundred thousand price point, if you look at cities like Richardson, Allen, Plano, Benbrook, Weatherford, um, you're seeing housing inventory as low as one month, which means you know you've got very, very, very few homes, and and you still have a bunch of buyers that want them. So you're seeing multiple offers and competition, and sellers having the vast majority of the negotiating power and the leverage there. So that is different than a lot of people expect. Sellers are not quite realizing how great of a time it is for them to sell in those price points in those areas. And buyers are sometimes overestimating what they believe to be some newfound leverage for them. Now, in other price points, we see a little bit more stability. Four, five, six, seven hundred thousand. In a lot of areas, we're seeing closer to two, two to three months of housing inventory. Still a seller's market but not quite as extreme as in a couple of others of those areas. But there are very, very few pockets of pockets in DFW right now where we would say statistically the buyer has real leverage. And even in the areas where that is mathematically true, it has not been true for any real extended period. It's more of an anomaly where there might only be one or two houses on the market in that area. And they have been on the market for four or five months typically in a rare price point for an area where there's not a lot of homes at that price point. So they just don't move as quickly. So generally speaking, Dallas Fort Worth is absolutely on average, still a seller's market where sellers have leverage. Prices are generally going up nowhere near as fast as they were going up a year and a half, two years ago, but still, you know, chugging along, going up and kind of worst case holding value. There's a pocket or two where in the last year, some homes have slipped a little bit and they're this summer kind of back on the rise. So really, unless you moved into a home in parts of McKinney seven months ago, there are very, 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 very few people that have really lost any value. And even those people in that somewhat random example haven't lost much. It's really important for sellers though to remember that home values, generally speaking, are not going to be where they were at the beginning of last year, right? right. And I think we're still, we're, we're seeing somewhat people just being like, yeah, but that's what I want. So yeah. therefore that's what I need to have. I'm glad you're nudging me to clarify that. So here's the thing. Even if your value number, we could get you to that same number from a year and a half ago, we're going to get there with a different strategy and a different pathway probably not quite as quickly as we were, probably with not nearly the number of showings and offers and intensity. 
But if you don't put forth a full and aggressive effort with a great agent, great lender, great team around you, then you're highly unlikely to achieve those outcomes, right? And part of that just has to do with the fervor in the marketplace, right? Two years ago, you know, people were kind of giggling that they, you know, are getting three and a quarter rates and, or, or potentially lower and they could get more house than they had ever imagined at a lower rate. And the truth is after they giggled, they complained. They can, compl people complain about every market. Oh, I can't believe we're having to pay this. We can't even get an inspection there. We have to waive appraisal gaps and all this stuff. Even if it doesn't appraise, I have to pay the difference. Well, now the complaint is, um, Interest rates are high. I think interest rates being high are going to turn out to have been one of the best weapons for buyers in years because I don't think it's going to last forever. Sellers, to Ian's point, are just being greedy, spoiled brats a little bit right now. Not everybody, but some. I want the market to be what it was a year and a half ago. Well, it's not. But it's still a great time to sell if you'll, have, if you'll just a, a, a address that, acknowledge that, and work with a great leader, a great agent, to help build the strategy for this market. We're still knocking it out of the park for sellers that will trust and follow the system, but it's a different approach than it was a year and a half or two years ago. And the pricing looks a little bit differently. We're not seeing people just lose a ton of equity from a year and a half ago, but they've got to, they got to stop thinking that their value went up one to two points per month. Mm -hmm. That's just not happening anymore, yeah. but it's still a seller's market where there's low inventory and buyer demand and sellers have leverage. Now, We've had some crazy weather this year already. High winds, hail, some abrupt, aggressive rain, and lots of roofs have lots of damage. Now, there's a category of people that are well aware of that. Like, it sounded like they got attacked. They know they got hail. Then there's the fringe area that are like, man, I know we had heavy wind and rain, and we might have gotten a little bit of pea-sized hail. I'm not so sure. And then there's others that just aren't really sure the condition of their roof at all. Everyone in all of those categories need to have somebody on their roof in the next 30 days. It's my, my parents live down in the Houston area and they had a crazy storm come through the last couple of weeks with limbs hanging on their roof. And I'm telling them, Hey, you need a roofer out long before you get an insurance adjuster. Out. You need a roofer out. You might have a hole. You need to get some tarps up there. You need to get some patchwork done to keep from any further damage and then to have the right information in order to file a claim. So, if you haven't had a roofer on your roof in the last two years, I don't care where you live. You need to go to PMRRoofing.com. If you were in any way part of these crazy aggressive storms, you need to know with certainty what the condition of your roof is. You need to go to PMRRoofing.com. If you know you got hit and you haven't yet had a roofer that you can trust on top of your house, you also need to go to PMRRoofing.com and all of you need to ask for Jordan Collins. They'll look you in the eye, shake your hand and do the right thing. They won't sell you anything you don't need. They will help you navigate a claims process ethically and honestly to your advantage. And if you do need work, they'll do it right the first time uh, with a quality warranty that you can trust from a company that's been here a long time and will be here a long time. As for Jordan Collins, go to PMRRoofing.com. If you have not checked your home valuation recently, do so. Go to our website. If you have not checked it in the last few months, absolutely go to dallashomerealty.com, go to touchmyteam.com, click the home valuation tab, and in less than one minute, you will be able to find out what your home would sell for, what it would rent for. It's going to give you a bunch of information. It's going to explain home how you equity can get, estimates. Yeah, equity is going to talk to you about cash offers. It's just going to give you so much stuff. Go to toddtremonteam.com, click the home valuation tab. A uh, question that has uh, come in for you is, if I have a mortgage, do I really own my home? And can I ever truly own my home free and clear? Um, those are both very good questions with similar nuance, different answers. So let's take them one at a time. Um, I'm going to answer this in a realistic way. It is not a technical answer, and I'll explain what I mean by that. Can you ever own your home completely free and clear? Let's answer it specifically to DFW, state of Texas. Sure. Okay. No, sure. the answer is no. Would you like to know why? Yes. So you got a mortgage. Let's just say you bought a $500,000 house and you put 20% down. And so you had a $400,000 mortgage. Good math. Okay. And over 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, five years, 10 minutes, doesn't matter. You paid it off. Do you own the home free and clear? 
technically speaking, yes, you don't own any, you don't owe any more principal on the loan or any more interest <laughs> on the loan. But here's the problem. You will owe property taxes on that forever. So you don't have debt on it, but you are not in complete control of it if you don't pay those property taxes. As a matter of fact, you ever see the late night infomercials that are like, I bought this home for $1,911 and made half a million and everyone wants to get into buying tax lien property. That means someone did not pay their taxes and the government put a lien on it, like a, a hold against it until they were paid. And if they weren't paid, someone could buy that and all they had to do was pay off the taxes that were owed. These deals are very, 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 very rare. Almost nobody on planet earth does a bunch of them all the time as a full-time job. They're rare that somebody would give up that amount of equity over just a tax bill, but it does happen. The point I'm making though is, yes, you're technically free and clear from the mortgage loan you had on it, but you will always and forever have to pay those property taxes. And if you don't, you'll lose your house. So in that regard, the way you should think about it financially is you can minimize your financial burden on your home as low as you can possibly control by not having a more, not having a loan on it. But you will always have the property tax burden and that property tax burden, if you're not careful, can cause you to lose your home. So in that regard, you are never 100% free and clear of a financial burden tied to your home. You can never, ever, ever in the state of Texas live in that home at no cost whatsoever. You'll never be like completely finished spending money to live in that home. And that sounds really, really daunting. But in our state, that is one of the major ways that we fund city, county, school district services. So in some regard, it makes sense. In theory, it's, it's supposed to be fair, but that is the way it is. If you want police and firefighters and the roads to be worked on and streetlights to work and all that, you got to pay those property taxes. If you want to stay in your house, you got to pay those property taxes. And if you don't pay those property taxes, you don't get to stay in your house. So that's what I mean when I say no. Technically speaking, you can never be 100% truly free and clear. Now, let me say this last thing really quickly and we'll move on to that other question. Man, do I wish that everyone would pay their, could someday pay their house off and not have that mortgage burden and be technically free and clear. By all means, that is a safer way to live. It's an easier way to sleep. Now, there's a lot of financial strategy there, but the point is that is a great way to live where you have no financial burden other than some responsible insurance and those property taxes, but you don't have to pay a bank or a mortgage company for that loan. So we will answer the other question there uh, remind me what it was. Well, the, it was a two-part question. If I have a mortgage, do I really own my home? And can I ever truly uh, own it free and clear? Yeah, we're going to answer the mortgage. Do you actually own your home? That's actually a very different question. Who's technically the owner who's in control of it when you have a mortgage? We'll answer that when we come back from the break. Before that, real quick, if you haven't checked out the podcast, DFW Real Estate Weekly on all your podcast places, we do bonus episodes there that are not on the radio show. You want to check those out for sure. If you're thinking about buying, selling, or investing in real estate anytime in 2023 or even early 2024, go to TotramaniTeam.com. We'll take great care of you there. You may be sitting in your house right now wondering, I have a mortgage. Do I own my house or does the bank own my house? You might even say, hey, Siri, do I own my house? And then you would find out that you do. You do own your house. But do you completely control your house? Before we went to the break, we were talking about, can you ever have your home fully free and clear? And it is a different question. If I have a mortgage, do I completely control my home? Do I, am I the effective owner of that home? And we'll talk a little bit more about that here in a second, but I want to remind you that this is your last call to feed hungry children in North Texas. Our June peanut butter and jelly drive has technically come to an end, but we have not yet made the delivery. Um, and so that'll happen this week and we still have time. And the next day or two, I'm going to say one day, if you would like to drop peanut butter and jelly off, go to pbjdrive.com. You can find our office addresses for our Fort Worth office and our Richardson office. Or the easiest thing to do is go to open your Venmo app and just Venmo 20 bucks, 50 bucks, hundred bucks, 500 bucks, whatever you can do. 
however much, however many kiddos you can and want to feed, uh, open Venmo and just Venmo that cash to at PBJ Drive. At PBJ Drive. Or you can go to pbjdrive.com and there is a PayPal link and some other things in there. We will go and buy the peanut butter and jelly for you. We'll get it delivered. We'll take some photos. We'll post it on our social media. You can see the cumulative weight uh, amount of peanut butter and jelly that you were able to join us in contributing to the North Texas and Tarrant area food banks, primarily focused on feeding kiddos that really do struggle in the summertime to know where their next meal is. There's not a whole lot more basic need than just food, just eating, right? So I got a lot of first world problems in my life, full price Courtney. I got a lot of things that annoy me, uh, Ian, but they're not food. It's They're not, what am I going to eat? And luckily, fortunately, my children don't have that concern. But it's pretty heartbreaking that there are a lot of children and some seniors and others in our community, this community where we build skyscrapers and sports stadiums and have nice dinners that there are children that don't know where their next meal is going to come from. So I'm asking 100% of the money goes straight to peanut butter and jelly for families. There's no administrative fee. We cover all those costs. There's no marketing fees. We cover all those costs. We pay for all the airtime and all that stuff. Literally um, go to pbjdrive.com or Venmo at PBJ drive and every single penny will go to food for kiddos in our community. Venmo at PBJ drive. Did make it sound uh, like uh, I'm the one that annoys you. You said there's a lot of things that annoy me, Ian. Okay. Just saying. Were you wanting me to refute that? No, I'm just, I'm just saying it <laughs> kind of hurt me a little bit. I uh, what I said was, uh, full price Courtney got involved in that. That I have a lot of first world fr- problems and frustrations, and says a lot of things that annoy me, Ian. And a meal is not one of them. That's fair. It's ridiculous that a meal is that way for any kiddo in North Texas. We That's can fair. we can meet that need, and we should. Hey, this first segment is brought to you, as always, by Patrick Gleros and his team at Cardinal Financial. Uh, PatrickGleros.com is where you can go to start an application right there. Uh, whether you're looking to get a mortgage, whether you're looking to refinance, maybe, maybe you're wanting to get a, a secondary um, home, PatrickGleros.com is where you're going to go uh, to start everything. You can call him as well, 972-728-3420, NMLS number 3088. Zero four. All right, give me an answer in under a minute. What do people need to know about how to pick the right agent for them? Full-time is a must. You need to ask that agent if they're full-time. What are their normal working hours? You need to ask them who else works with them. There's nothing wrong with an independent agent, but they need to have a network of professionals around them. You need to ask them what their marketing process is. If they are listing and selling a home for you, they need to show you and tell you that they have a proven, repeatable system or process for selling homes and that they have a track record of success. They need to know their numbers. What are their averages? Don't let them use list to sales price ratio as a statistic. That's misleading and utterly useless because you can pick any list price you want. And the other thing is uh, they need to be someone that's enjoyable, likable, and trustworthy for you to spend time with. I think I still have 10 seconds left. You want to use them? Sure. Sure. Tatra Money Home Selling Team is a great place to start. Give us a call. If we're not a fit, we'll introduce you to somebody else. We are not always a fit. If we are a fit, we guarantee the results and we'll have a great time doing it. It's July 1st, a.k.a. June 31st, because of the peanut butter jelly drive, mm-hmm. which means we're already kind of halfway through the summer. We're beyond halfway through the summer from a real estate so perspective. So is it fair to say that time is running out to buy this summer, but... Time keeps on ticking, ticking, ticking. Name that musician, Ian. No idea. Into the future. Full price Courtney? Who sings that? No, no Steve Miller band fans? Never heard of him. Oh, my gosh. I apologize to the people of DFW that I have brought people who don't know good music is into the co- studio. Is it country? No. Oh. Probably classic rock-ish. Mm. Okay. Someone's going to email me, Steve Miller band is not classic rock, man. And they're gonna they're gonna think it like that, even though they're just gonna type it. Anyway, um, you are pushing your limits right now if you want to buy or sell and move and be moved in before school. St- if what we mean by summer is before school starts, I mean we are pushing it. 
because most school districts around here are going to start in the first couple of weeks of August. It's the first week of July. That means you have like five and a half weeks to find it, negotiate it, get it under contract, work out all the details and, and leave, leave margin of error for craziness, move, unpack just enough things to take a shower, brush your teeth, cook a meal and get to work and get to school. It's it, not the first week of July though. It's June 31st. You're right. It is for the sake of peanut butter and jelly. It's our made up bonus day of June, but it is technically on the calendar the first week of July. And because of that, it is still possible. But when I mean, we're literally talking about, we are, we are days away from it not being likely. If you're an all cash buyer, you definitely have two to three weeks of additional flexibility where we don't have to wait on a bank or a lender for underwriting and things like that. If you're borrowing and you're using a mortgage, you are right up against about the minimum time needed to do that. Now, if you're using Patrick Glaros, they can typically get you closed a little bit faster if you have a, a good upfront meeting and get all your ducks in a row. But we are we are right at that barrier. Now, if would you like a big butt? Yeah. Would you like a big butt segment here? Sure. Funny thing is, last week I got a lot of feedback from friends and listeners that the uh, transcription on our video we do the big butt segment, and this is kid friendly because what we say is most people think it's too late to move this summer, but the fall is actually a great time to move. I'm personally going to be moving my family this fall, or at least selling one of our properties this fall. We ho we're hoping to get in this summer too, for sure. But um, historically, my wife and I buy and sell all of our houses in the fall. That's our preferred time to do that. Doesn't mean the summer, spring is bad. It's great, but we actually really, really love the advantages of fall, and we'll talk about that <laughs> here in a second. But one of the things I want people to know, oh, the transcription. The transcription of the video spelled B-U-T with an extra T, even though the segment is about what the general consensus, the stereotype, the so-called conventional wisdom is. And we're saying, but there's another way to look at it, but there are other options, but that's not necessarily true. So right now it is really, really, really tight to still get moved this summer, but the fall is a great time to buy and sell. Now, if you are switching school districts or jobs or whatever, there are certainly some advantages to doing that during summer break or Christmas break or the holiday break, whatever you call that. Um, but that's when everybody's hiring movers. That's when everybody's moving. There are some advantages financially and otherwise uh, to moving when the kids are in school. And by the way, even if you don't have kids, it's still relevant to how markets move and things like that. Um, so the fall is a great time to do that. Now, if I was a seller right now, I would not wait. I would get that house on the market right away. If I was a buyer, I really wouldn't wait as a buyer either, but I would be more patient in my approach. I would not delay the process of buying, but I would not feel like I have to buy instantly. I would be patient to look for the right house, the right deal, the right price and all those things, but I would be looking now. So hopefully that helps for a little bit of a market update as well. Yep, that's great. A good title company is essential to make sure that your entire transaction goes smoothly and beyond to make sure that everything is done correctly, properly to make sure- but Beyond is a great point, by the way. Yeah. Because it may be a year after you closed and funded and you need an answer to a technical question about some data. A great agent can get that for you, but not everybody has a great agent. And so a good title company will have good files and be willing to do that for you, even though they're no longer getting paid on your file. Yeah, 100%. And a great title company is even harder to find. Republic hmm. Title are a great title company. They're one of the leaders in the industry. They are so good to do so much for so many of our clients. I've personally used them several times. I know Todd has, and many of our team has, and so many of our clients, friends, and family have. And a lot of title companies hire out of desperation. Right. Oh, the market's picked up. Let's get some people in here. Republic yeah. hires incredible people. Yes. They're, they're skilled and they're technically sound, but they're also thoughtful, kind, generous people that would do that for you a year later. And that in the middle of what could often be a tricky deal, they're cool headed and service servant hearted, which I really appreciate. RepublicTitle.com is where you're going to go to get more information. You can call them as well at 972-423-8777. RepublicTitle.com. You can go to ToddTrumayTeam.com, click the radio tab, and you can find all the recommended pros and vendors right there. Are you ready? 
I'm ready. Oh, are you ready? Oh, I, okay, hold on, hold Courtney, on, hold on, ready? hold on. Think English. Think. Courtney, you ready? English. Think what? South of London? It's London. Okay. I'm thinking very foggy London town. All right, let's go. Okay. Today's, We've been on a run, Courtney. I know. We've I've, been on a run. I've, Here, I've, unmute that mic. Let's get I, in the game. I, I had to play around with this because I wanted to make it really hard for you to not get it. But then I changed my mind. So I'm going to give you a chance to get this one, especially oh. if you've seen the movie Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. It's been a while. Never heard of it. What? Oh, my gosh. I'm you've sorry. never heard of it? Oh, my gosh. It sounds familiar. Oh, in my goodness. Dusty parts of my brain. Oh All right. Here's gosh. the word. Skyrocket. Skyrocket. Something lock it. Skyrocket. Todd, anything? Now you got me thinking about the movie more than just random rhyming words. Skyrocket. Can use it in a sentence. Yeah, put another hundred in your skyrocket. Pocket. Nailed it. Here's the deal. He, that was a very good hint. <laughs> I mean, we were not going to get there without the hint. <laughs> that was a, like, put another hundred in your bucket. Like, what else were we going to... It was a very good hit. Thank you. Thank we you. Needed, welcome. We needed it. We were not... I'm here for you. Bro. I was just blank thinking about brutal gangster gun scenes. Yes. I wasn't going to get to putting 100 in your... Skyrocket. Oh, Skyrocket. There you Again, go. It, that one did rhyme, but it, it takes longer to use the slang than just pocket. Like, More fun, though. It's not about efficiency. It's about fun. Well... Nothing about that type of speaking is about efficiency. <laughs> There's just literally no one thought, you know what we should do is tighten this up. No one did that. Ever. No, no. Uh, let's talk about the uh, the book that we've been going through, the five lies that will ruin your real estate career. Let's do it. And the truth that will make you wealthy, that can make you wealthy. Uh, so the fifth truth can, that we're going to talk can about. Can make you wealthy. I, I said if it. If you don't secondly. listen and you don't apply it, it might not. Right. So the fifth truth, is to think local slash niche. Niche is how you produce that because you think you're from the country of France. I well, say it's niche. how it's actually pronounced. In, in the language native to the country of France, it is that. All right, here's the deal. Think local, think targeted niche, niche. Niche. This book is for real estate agents, but I say it every week. This is relevant to our local friends, family, neighbors, because as they choose agents, which you asked about earlier, they need to be looking for an agent that has thought through these things, that is not believing the five lies, and that is implementing most, if not all, of these 12 truths. And there are others. So if you have an agent that says, I can help you buy, sell, rent, residential, commercial, industrial, land, build, by the way, run, run. Nobody's good at all that. And as a matter of fact, they're going to be atrocious at some of those things, like inept. And there's no way for you to know, right? This is not a business where these transactions are super public or documented with public access. So it, it's very difficult for you to, online reviews are helpful, but here's the thing. Rarely, rarely is anyone exceptional at more than one or two things. Right. And in our culture, when we see someone that we believe to be exceptional at more than one or two things, we highlight people and celebrate them. And then we tear them down when we realize that they have horrible, tremendous faults and weaknesses also. But that is all of us. We do one or two things well, maybe three or four, or five, six or seven other things well enough, and then a bunch of things badly. We don't have the time or attention or natural giftedness to do this. So, one of the 12 truths about real estate agent careers that can make people wealthy is to focus on the one or two things you can do really well. For example, on our team here at, at the Tatra Money Home Selling Team, agents would either only work with the buyers or only work with sellers, only work the Fort Worth side or only work the Dallas side. And then even beyond that, we have kind of three main areas of specialization. There could be four or five because we have different agents. Each agent is really focused on one or two things. And most of those things on our team are mid to upper end homes in neighborhoods. That's one of them. The second one is homes on land with really big lots, not quite farm and ranch, but how we're, residential properties with really big lots, one, two, three, four, five, ten 10 acres. And then a third one, it, it, there's different ones for different agents, but it might be a specialized neighborhood, homes with pools, 
homes on a golf course, things like that, where different agents on our team have a heightened level of, of expertise. Like Jeremy knows every neighborhood with a golf course in it and all of DFW. He's played most of them 10 times. Not, not all of them, but he's a golf enthusiast and he's a real estate agent. So he knows a lot about homes on golf courses. Other agents on our team know a lot about pools. So they tend to work with more and more clients that want to put in a pool or that want to know, is that pool in good shape for me to buy it? So those are examples of niche, niche, or focus areas of specialization. You, you want to run far from a real estate agent that tells you they can help you with anything. Buy, rent, sell, lease, well, leasing and renting, same thing. Um, residential, commercial, industrial. I mean, that's just delusional. Honestly, commercial real estate and residential real estate couldn't be two more wildly different businesses, but it's the same license. So you'll have people that are like, yeah, I can do both. It's like almost like saying, I, you know, I'm going to play professional baseball and football. There have been like one handful of people ever do that successfully at a high level. And you could probably name them all, even if you're not a major sports fan. So that's a rare, 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 rare gift. Now a company with multiple people could do that, but a person that is almost so rare that I would say, don't even go looking. Look for someone that specializes in what you need. Residential, buy side, residential, sell side, geographic area, property type, price point type, things like that. If you happen to be looking to buy or sell a home on some land, a home in a mid to upper end neighborhood, on a golf course or with the pool in DFW, man, let me throw the Todd Tremonti home selling team hat in the ring and say, We've got full-time dedicated specialists who are not working alone with a proven repeatable track system, a, pr a track record, a proven repeatable system, staff members, and technology for them to work at a world-class level. Go to toddtremontyteam.com. I apologize in advance if the audio of this is not brilliant, but oh I feel like it's appropriate for what oh we're boy. about to talk about. All right. That's it. Ding, ding. The burger battle is on. It started, Todd. To be clear, that was Apollo Creed with a mouthpiece in, with a cell phone audio, <laughs> not even aimed at the microphone. It was, okay, ding, ding. I mean, it's a great scene, though. From yeah, It is a Rocky great scene. Warm. It was just not transferring well to radio. Well, All we'll right, try. ding, ding. The burger battle hath descended upon us. Tell them about it. What's going on? What is... This bur where where are you even finding this burger battle? What are you talking about? So in the summer fun guide, which we've been talking about, I just mailed out fifteen of them to radio listeners this past week. Nice. Um. So if you want one, we have I think as of yesterday we had twenty five left. So we don't have that many. Um. But you can reach out to us and we will mail you one, or we can just send you. Go a to ToddTremontyTeam dot com, or just Google Todd Tremonti. When you get to the website, you'll see a picture of our team yep. wearing silly summer flowery stuff and sunglasses. Hawaiian. Click that, and you'll be able to. The ones with American flags are technically Hawaiian, but I don't know that they qualify as Hawaiian shirts. But um, click that, and you can request a copy digitally or in print. We've got less than twenty five print ones left and there's awesome stuff that lasts all summer through the end of august sorry back to we you we want people to vote on what is their favorite burger in dfw i'm going to run through all the ones that we've had nominated so far okay these are these are nominated by the team if you go on social media I'm gonna oh you're gonna do both right? okay all right Todd, all right all right just leave it with me i got it covered okay. dell's charcoal burgers they're in richardson ferrer good friend beer garden haystack burger jake's burgers and beer JD's Hamburger, Kincaid's Hamburgers, Lily's Bistro, Media Burger, Rodeo Goat, Shady's Burgers and Brouhaha, Union Bear Brewery. Those are all the ones in the Summer Fun Guide. Then we've got on social media, we've had Dell's Burgers again. We've had Boots Burgers. We've had... Uh, JD's is real Haystack, popular on the Sochis. Omer's Jiffy Burger. We've had Keller's, Wingfield's, Dell's again. Uh, Burger House, we've got JG's, JG's, Goff's, we've got JG's again, big, lots of JG yeah. fans. I've never been there. Like Lily's, Bur good. Lily's Bistro again, Rodeo Goat, Haystack, Lily's Bistro, Twisted Root, Haystack, uh, and then uh, I voted for myself. Uh, Ian did say that his burgers that he makes are the best. I posted an excellent and entirely appropriate gif or gif, depending on how you want to say that word in response. And it was the Iron Man, Tony Stark, 
eye roll, like the world's greatest sprain your eye socket, rolling your eyes at someone who claims to make a better burger than all of everyone's favorite burger joints in the entire DFW. Ian's a great cook. I'm not taking that away from him. He's confident in my it's ability. A bold statement. A little bit schmucky. We'll just call it bold, though. My son sells me. He does make great food, and his son does build up his confidence, and I love every bit of that. Now, here's the thing. For the sake of time today, uh, we're not going to run through all that again. Go find us on Facebook and Instagram and all the places and post your favorite burger joint. There will be a winner, and if you own or work at any of those burger places, reach out to us at the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team. Just Google us, call us, text us, email us. We would love. We are already sending tons of people to your burger place. We would love to partner with you to do even more. You need a summer fun guide. It'll tell you day trips, places to eat, places to get ice cream, fun ways to beat the heat, fun stuff to do while you're cooped up at home and don't want to go spend a ton of money to explore and many, many, many other things, live music, water parks, and all that kind of stuff to do, ways to be creative and enjoy your summer and get the most out of it. Fireworks displays, all of it is in the summer fun guide. Go to toddtremontiteam.com, toddtremontiteam.com. Click the team picture of the summer fun guide and we'll get you a copy. You can request a digital one for friends, 20 something print ones left. You can request those for friends. Tell your friends to go to the website and request one there. Uh, join us in the peanut butter and jelly drive, Venmo some cash to at PBJ drive, get you a summer fun guide. And if you're thinking about buying and selling this summer, you need to call us right away. There's no time to waste. Call us today. 214-310-0008. If you're thinking about buying and selling for the rest of the year, if you want a cash offer, if you want a backup offer that you can, uh, use at any point, we can do all of those things for you. Go to Todd Just like my son says, that's Todd Tremonti That's Todd Tremonti If you can't remember how to spell it or if you have no idea how to spell it, just Google Todd Tremonti. Get as close as you can. You'll find us. You can see over 700 reviews. Call us, text us, email us on any phone number, fill out any form. We'll take great care of you from there. We'll be back next week, same time, same place, with DFW Real Estate Weekly on WBAP. WBAP.